Hello everyone, this is Little Tree. Thought I'd do a quick educational video on how I make my medicated honey. I take cannabis oil or RSO for a thyroid disorder that I have that has caused a little bit of stroke damage. So I take it daily to maintain my health. Um, some people have asked me how I medicate daily and if I do edibles, and I do do edibles because I make a medicated tea. So this is how I make my medicated tea out of my medicated honey made from my cannabis oil or RSO. First you're going to want to get your your nice little comfy tea set. I got this at a thrift store for like a dollar. I'm using Sleepy Time Sinus Soother Tea because I really like the flavor. I've been soaking my cannabis oil, which my caregiver to, gives it to me in syringe form, so there's 10 grams in here, so it will last me a little over a month. And then I went out and bought some local honey. Actually, it turns out it's Brazilian. It's it's manu it's packaged locally, but I thought that looked really good. So I've been soaking both of them for about 10 minutes in some really 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 warm water. Like actually, it's very hot water. Um, basically, if you turn your hot water heater all the way up, that's how hot the water needs to be, right before it starts to make little bubbles. So now that they've been soaking for a little bit, if you soak, when you soak the oil, it makes it so it just comes out of the syringe a little easier. And I'm going to take them out of here, move this over. Set this up so you can just be watching what I'm doing. <clears throat> so all I'm doing is I'm opening the honey, which I made sure to take the uh, foil off before, I'm using the chopsticks to like move it around. And since it's been in the hot water, it should be really warm consistency. If it doesn't feel like it's a warm consistency to you, put it back in and. I mean, this is like this. See how it's just runny? That's how it needs to be in order for the RSO, the cannabis oil, to soak into it. So I just take the top off mine. Be careful. Do it over the honey because sometimes it kind of squirts out. And I just squirt it right in there. And since it was hot, I didn't have very much left on the edges. See how clear that was? And I'm just gonna set this in my tea to kind of do out. Then I'm gonna mix it and mix it and mix it. And if you watch, you'll see that my honey will start turning the same color as the RSO. <clears throat> it takes a minute, especially with this honey. This is extremely raw unfiltered honey. I also find what works really well is like the wildflower honey or the clover honey. I really like those because I can't eat sugars. A lot of sugars I'm allergic to it. <clears throat> so honey is my best option. So I'm gonna mix this up for a little bit. I tried. So I've been stirring this for quite a few minutes now. <clears throat> the consistency is getting quite green. It's beautiful. I'm going to end up taking this off like this, trying to make as little mess as possible. But I am just going to put it in with my tea, so it won't be too big of a deal. Now I'm going to put the lid on and I'm going to shake it up for a bit. Do, do, do. <clears throat> make sure it's on nice tight you don't want some honey everywhere if you feel that your honey's cooled off a bit you might want to turn it a few times see if you look at the bottom it still needs to get in there I usually turn it a few times and then I'll soak it in the water hot water again for a little bit to break up the what's cooled down a little bit because you did put two different kinds of substance together and we've been messing with it and putting air bubbles in it so shake it up get it all nice and mixed and when you're done and it's nice and mixed to your consistency that you like. You just put a teaspoon in your tea 
key all the way and you're good to go. And you're gonna try and turn it just to feel like it's not gonna turn. Just so I'm gonna soak this for a little bit longer and we'll be right back. You can't be pushed in here. All right, so we're at the very end game. I've been letting the honey cannabis mixture soak in some hot water for about 10 minutes. Hot enough, it's still steaming a little bit. I actually took the time to prepare my tea we got most of the stuff off so we're almost there guys so let's check out and see what our honey looks like Sure, there's not there's probably a lot of pressure build up because of all the heat there we go just be careful when you're opening it oh yeah that's exactly how it's supposed to be look at this it's beautiful exactly how it's supposed to be nice and green nice and easy to work with when it cools off it'll be a little bit like not so runny a little bit more stable I'm excited. So since I this is my first batch of this type, I'm only gonna use about a teaspoon. So I'm gonna get a little bit deeper down in there, make sure I still have it mixed up, don't want to waste any time. My teaspoon of tea. Went ahead and took my tea bag out. Don't want it to soak in. Start mixing up my yummy yummy tea. And here in a minute, I'm gonna have some medicated tea. Alright, I'm excited about my tea. I'm gonna let that sit for a second. It looks super yummy, huh? You don't have to just do it in tea, guys. You can do it in anything that you want to use honey in. Remember, keep the lid on. Make sure that you keep your medicine where medicine should be and out of the hands of people who aren't supposed to be in it. Consume responsibly. Have a good one.